today I'm going to teach you how to create a creepy soldier using a few images and use him to build this apocalyptic scene. Let's do this! Today I want to focus more on the character creation, so I will speed up this part where I created this background and if you still want more details on how to build a background, you can check out some of my previous videos where I explain there step by step how to do that. I will give you the links to those tutorials in this video's description. The first uh, character that I'm using in this video is this survivor, this woman and uh, the fastest way to select her is by removing the background. How to do that? If your layer is locked like it's mine, double click on it and you can choose a name if you want or just press OK. Then go on the properties tab and click remove background. And now in just a few seconds Photoshop will remove the background. Of course it's not perfect but it's really really fast. Let's do some modifications. Take the brush tool and now I'm going to take this uh, hard round brush and I'm going to paint, be sure that the white color is selected and I'm going to paint on some areas where Photoshop did not select those parts really well. So the first thing that I want to have behind her was a backpack. So I have attached this backpack behind her and then I copied those trays, those parts of the backpack. First one is this one and then the second one is this one. And then I have added some masks and I hide them behind the hair. And talking about the hair, I have manually drew a part of the hair. I have a dedicated tutorial on my channel on how to do that if you want to learn. Then the second thing that I did if you look at her legs and uh, at her hand we need to integrate that with the rest of the grass so I have added a mask and with the grass brush in my case I use uh, this one but you can use any other one that you want so with the black color selected if you paint uh, on some parts you'll see that you will add that grass and uh, she looks like she is sitting in the grass not uh, on top like the original picture then is the time for adjustments. Behind the backpack, between them I have added an exposure to create that shadow and then with a selective color I have uh, modified a bit the colors of the backpack and with the brightness and contrast I have added more brightness and contrast. Then with levels I have decreased a bit the whites. The next thing I have added a shadow behind those uh, letter trays and her uh, shirt and then I have decreased the colors by reducing the brightness on uh, those letter things and I have changed their colors by modifying the cyan using selective color. So with the brightness and contrast first I decrease the brightness and contrast then with curves I have modified all the colors the reds the green and the blues and then with selective color I have modified the neutrals with the hue and saturation I have decreased the saturation and with the vibrance I have decreased a bit the vibrance and on top I have again manually drew at the end some uh, hair but this time a bit brighter and I have placed everything into one single group to this group I have created a new layer that I have set to soft light so go to layer new layer and here choose soft light and fill it with 50% gray Take the brush tool and in our case soft round brush and reduce the flow to around 10%. Now if you paint with the black color you will add some shadows to the areas where you paint. With an exposure I have added some small highlights on the sides and with hue and saturation I have added a bit of colors on the left side using hue and saturation. If you don't know how to do that just check out my tips and tricks uh, video where I explain there step by step how to create highlights using exposure and hue and saturation. Then my method for the highlights which is linear dodge I use it here also. If you don't know how to do that really easy go to layer new layer and here choose linear dodge fill it with black and now if we take the brush tool let's make it really small and let's sample a color from her skin let's say this one if you paint on the sides you will add some really interesting highlights on the parts where you, you paint of course you need to spend a lot of time because you need to zoom in and go inside of some areas and then switch to the black color to hide those areas if you went too far and so on so this is really cool if you want to learn how to add highlights as I said I have a lot of tutorials on my channel where I explain there step by step you can find the links in the video description on how to create those interesting highlights using linear dodge. 
This creepy soldier was created by combining a few images. I used the body from this image, the head from this one, the hood from this image, the tube from this one and the laser device from this one. Let me show you how. I selected him by using select subject. So go to this object selection tool and you can press select subject and then you will have a selection. Take the lasso tool and zoom in and if you hold shift you will add the parts that uh, Photoshop did not add that well to the selection and if you hold alt for example you can deselect some parts that Photoshop selected and you don't want those parts to be selected and then I press on the mask and now we have our selection ready then for the head part i have used this picture with this guy and here with the same object selection tool i have selected only the head part and then with the lasso tool i have added the parts uh, that i want to have more than photoshop uh, selected for me and i have pressed the mask i have used that head here and besides the color that are not matching what it is not right is the fact that the tubes are not really matching the mask so actually we will need those tubes to connect to the mask like that and in our case they are not connecting so we need to fix that so i went back to my original layer and with the pen tool i have selected this part of the tube and i have pasted it here go to edit and here choose puppet warp and i'm going to click and add some points and now i'm going to move individually those points to match my original tube all right and on the other side i did the same thing but here I use another picture, I selected this part of the tube and uh, I use it into my design. And I use some parts of other tubes to match my uh, angles of the tubes that I have over there. And then I needed to hide with the clone stamp tool the parts of the tubes that we don't need. First thing I added some shadows using exposure here underneath the helmet. And then I really love this image with this uh, hood. So I use again the pen tool and select it just uh, the hood of uh, this guy and use it here on the head part and place it underneath the helmet. Again with the pen tool I have selected uh, this one and place it here on his helmet. And the first thing I have added a mask and with the grass brush I have masked the areas with the legs and now he is sitting in the grass. Behind him I have added this uh, rifle and I have added a bit of uh, shadows using uh, soft light. Then let's adjust the colors. First thing is curves. Don't forget to check out that tutorial that I told you about with the tips and tricks over there. You can find how to match the subject colors with the background using curves. Then. I have used hue and saturation and I have desaturated the colors. I have increased the brightness with the selective color. I have modified the neutrals with the vibrance, decreased the colors. And then with the hue and saturation, I have added a bit of green. Here on the metal plate, I wanted to add some red. So I did that using a solid color set to color dodge. And then on top of it, I have added more and the layer is set again to color dodge and here on the laser thing i have added some green using the same method but this time the layer is set to overlay and on top i paint it with more green and the layer now is set to color dodge i have placed everything into one single group and to this group i have added more shadows using the soft light and i have added on the sides some highlights using exposure and some more highlights using hue and saturation the highlights that i told you about using the linear dodge and on the ground i have painted some shadows using exposure and then i have added some birds on the sky to make it look more interesting and apocalyptic and then here in front i have added those tires and then I have made them darker using curves and with an exposure really dark and added some small highlights using the linear dodge and made them even darker with the soft light. Then some barbed wire behind them and some grass and that was about it with the foreground. Then press Ctrl Alt Shift and I right click on this layer and choose convert to smart object. Go to filter and choose camera raw filter. Here because I wanted a more apocalyptic look to the scene I have uh, used uh, some other neutral colors that I normally don't use because I make my uh, designs really saturated. So uh, those are the settings that I have used and on the detail I added more sharpening noise reduction and color noise reduction and of course grain and some vignetting and then press OK. If you want 
want to learn photo manipulation, check out the other videos from my channel. Also, if you found any value in this video, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time.